injury from Aaron, guys. It's the, um, the one to report how hard he gets the trip. Who lodged the report? Chris Cameron. Well, Don, you must be thrilled uh, with the response. Yeah, very much so. I'm really proud of the guys tonight. I thought, uh, obviously, a couple of weeks ago we, we had a disappointing night, and I thought they responded the way that um, good sides do. Don, what do you reckon are the key changes that you had to see tonight to be able to get that result? Oh, I think it started with our effort around the ball and our, our, our contest work um, and our work rate, work rate away from there, to be honest. They were the two things we were, we were lacking last time we played, and I thought... Uh, there's a real focus on that over the two-week break we had, and, and to the guys' credit, they um, they responded the way I thought they would. Were you worried about your conversion? You look like you maybe could have been further ahead. You couldn't quite put them away there for a while. Yeah, early on, you know, it wasn't wasn't ideal. Um, we had some opportunities probably through the second quarter um, to go in with a bigger lead, um, but that happens. That's footy. I mean, I think we we reflected on it and said, well, it's just important we keep playing the way we want to play, um, and the scoreboard will take care of itself. And I think our conversion ended up being pretty solid in the last. I think we kicked eight one in the third quarter. So. I mean, sometimes you focus on those things, it starts to become a bit of a, you know, a, a, what do I say, like a, a burden that players carry out there in terms of their finishing, but um, you know, we, we, we're happy with the result in the end. Don, just to go back to what you say about around the contest, did you feel that you needed to work on the attitude of the players or the way in which they had their technique or the players you had around the contest? Oh, I think it was more just the effort we brought to the contest. I think that's been one of our strengths all year. Has been our, you know, it's a really difficult thing to truly measure um, because it's as much a, um, a physical thing as it is a mental thing. And, and I thought, you know, our, our intent around there was really strong from the start. Um, and that's that's how we played our best footy this year. So it was it was good for them to be able to see bringing that on a first final um, enables them to get the result they got. The conversion aside, it felt like something changed in the third quarter. What do you think it was? Oh, I think we kept we kept playing the way we wanted to play, and, and we were able to then get on top of the game. Um, once we got on top of the game, and, and we were able to move the ball, um, we were able to score, and you know efficiency increased. But you know we, we end up with the game in our half. We we're winning it from clearance, and we were getting the ball forward, and we were keeping it forward. So and that's always a good start. possibly above par. You played really well, didn't you? Yeah, look, it's always going to be a big challenge for Sam. I mean, Goldstein's a, a high-quality ruckman, um, and he knew he was he was uh, had a big test on his hands. And to his credit, he, he elevated his game and, and played really well. Was it a sign of maturity in the side uh, to come out as you did in the second half? Like it takes a bit of mental strength to change the way you're playing the game. Yeah, I think. That's been the pleasing part for this group. I mean, I said when I started, I inherited a group which, through the events of, say, last year, they were really resilient um, and had a real resolve about them. Um, and I think after the, the game two weeks ago, the group um, was disappointed, but they were they're more disappointed in themselves and how they'd, how they'd played. And um, I was always confident we'd get a response because knowing the quality of the group and the quality of the players and the people we've got in there... Um, they don't want to just you know, fall into the finals and make the numbers up. They, they want to have impact, and, and they started that process tonight. Uh, Eddie Betts almost found a new level tonight, if at all yeah. possible. Do you allow yourself a moment just to enjoy it, particularly that yeah. mark when he was on the ground and just popped up? Yeah, oh, man, he's, he's a special player, Eddie. I mean, he, and tonight he did some special things, and that mark, I, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure how he got to it, to be honest. It was one minute he's on the ground, next minute he up and jumped, and he marked it in front of two guys. So... Um, no, he's, 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 a, he's a special player and he's a, he's a great player for our footy club because not only what he does with kicking goals, but a lot of the work he does off the ball as well. Um, and he's really selfless. So tonight um, he, got, he got an opportunity to hit the scoreboard, but um, yeah, he's a pleasure to coach Eddie. How important was that contribution that Brodie Smith made tonight? Obviously he missed that game against West Coast with that concussion two weeks ago. Yeah, look, he's, he's another one. Of, you know, and our backs have been really strong all year. Um, bringing Brody back in as a... Uh, as a running halfback, and I thought he's influenced the game pretty strongly tonight. Um, he's, a, he's a quality player. Talia on Brown as well. I mean, yep. really, or really didn't lose a one-on-one all night. Yeah, no, Talia's had another. He had a really strong night. Um, I thought our backs overall held up. They, they scored some goals and got through us at times, but overall, you know, it was it was hard to be too critical of our backs. Um, they not only you know stopped North Melbourne from scoring, but they were able to set up some counter attack for us as well. But what do you feel? Made you open up space around your, your forward line in the second half. How do you think you found that extra space to work so many forwards into that area? Oh, I think it was just the way the game was played. I mean, each game is, is uniquely different. Um, finals, as we've seen through the weekend, are, are highly contested. Um, 
but there's a point in each game where it does tend to just open up for a period, and, and this one opened up maybe a little earlier than, than some of the other ones. But um, just the way that the number allocation around you know the, the ground um, meant that there was a bit more space, and North Melbourne were trying to you know, keep their forwards pulled pull back from the contest, which opened up space off that, which allows us if you can get the ball and, and you can counterattack, um, you can use some of that space at times. Oh, we'll see how that takes. It's not, I can't really comment on it. Um, we'll see what happens out of that, out of the, the tribunal process. How big a headache is it for those who are dropping back to the coaching when you keep that? We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we, when we come to it. Did you, did you allow yourself to try anything out in, that you'd been itching to do in that last quarter? No, not really. I mean, we probably took some, some sort of... Uh, Took a few precautions with some players who were a little bit sore. That was probably all. Um, you've got to be really careful this time of year of trying to get too cute um, and change things up for the sake of them. The players are playing. They're playing well. They're on top in the game. And um, if we get too cute and, and try and manufacture things, you, it doesn't quite sit with me. I, I think we just kept playing the way we wanted to play. Obviously, you're happy having won the game. But yep. now that it's been played, just your thoughts on the bye situation? Yeah, well, it's... Well, it's... I don't know. I mean, for us, it probably gave us an opportunity post the, the West Coast loss to um, get over that and then and spend some time really training. And I've said that, you know, in the last couple of weeks, we've we got an opportunity to do four good sessions with our guys. Um, off the two six-day breaks we'd had, um, it was, you know, six-day breaks don't allow you an opportunity to train too much. Um, the last two weeks has allowed us to do some training. And, you know, it's like anyone. It's like a cricketer who goes in, you know, going out to bat. He wants to be in the nets and he wants to be hitting balls so he's confident in what he can do. Our guys, you know, we like to be able to train so we can train the things we need to work on and we can take confidence from the games. And, and that's probably what the two weeks gave us the opportunity to do. Initial thoughts on Sydney and the SCG, Don? Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's the next challenge. I mean, tonight, tonight's one step. Um, the first step for us in terms of where we'd like to take our finals campaign, but I mean, the next step is Sydney and Sydney, so um, terrific challenge. I saw only a bit of the game today before we came to our game, um, so have a look at them closely, but um, clearly they're going to be you know, disappointed from the result today, and we'll expect to fight up Sydney next week. Do you think the, the, the intensity of the game will maybe go up a level against the Swans from, from tonight? Obviously it was pretty hot early, but yeah. maybe died out a bit after half-time tonight? Yeah, quite possibly. I mean, each each finals game is unique in its own way, and, and Sydney certainly want to play a contested style of footy, and, and their inside mids are again as good as any in the comp. So um, we'll recover, we'll prepare, and we'll get ready to go to Sydney and, and perform. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.